Hey Bookers! This 10-minute getting started video is intended for the owner of the Booker account and will provide the information needed to activate the appointment calendar, set up payments in Booker, as well as online booking basics. It will cover the onboarding wizard, quick start guide, payment settings, Clover hardware setup as well as where to order if you do not have it in hand yet, and the online booking site. First, the onboarding wizard. When you sign up with Booker, you'll receive an email with a link to this onboarding wizard. It takes about 15 minutes to go through it, so be sure you have that time set aside before you begin. The wizard guides you through entering in the basic details of your Booker account that are required to activate your appointment calendar. The required details are known as the core four, business hours, employees, services, and rooms. But first, you'll finish setting up your Booker login by entering in your password here, keeping in mind those password requirements. Now you can enter in the first of the core four business hours. These are the hours your business is open and available to book appointments. For any day your business is open, use the open and close dropdowns to set the hours. For any day the business is closed, click the word close below the day here and click next to continue. Once you've completed a step of the wizard, you'll get a blue ribbon and can click next to move on. Next up, adding your first employee. Since the wizard is used to capture basic details, you'll only enter in the name, contact info, and gender. Keep in mind, there are other details to fill out, such as compensation and schedules for employees when logged into Booker. Also, certain information, like employees and services, can be uploaded into Booker, and your onboarding specialist will discuss these options when you speak to them. Once the first employee is added, you can enter in another. However, only the first one is required before you'll be able to move on to the next step of the wizard, which is adding your first service. Here you'll enter in basic details, name, duration, price, and whether or not you want this booked online. You'll then select the category and subcategory that best fits this service from these dropdowns. The employee you created in the previous step will be selected to perform this service, which is required before you can continue on. Just like employees, there are more details to fill out when logged into the system. Once the first service is entered, you'll be ready to move on to the next step, rooms. A room and booker is any place a service can be performed and helps to keep your schedule organized. Create the room name, the capacity, which is the number of appointments that can occur in the room at the same time. The capacity of a room ultimately depends on your business setup and your onboarding team can help you determine the best way to do this. The service created in the previous step will be selected to perform in this room, and that's required before you can continue on. Once you've entered in your first room, you'll be finished with the wizard and can log into Booker to continue building out your account. And just remember, any of the information entered in the wizard can be changed at any time when logged in. Next, the Quick Start Guide. The Quick Start Guide is a continuation of the onboarding wizard, only it's a more detailed list of items to go through to build out your account. Note that some of the items in the Quick Start don't apply to your account, so let's follow these steps together. The first item, Set Up Your Schedule and Resources, will have the core four within it. To make changes to any of the information entered in the onboarding wizard, just click on the step from this dropdown. Let's go through the core four so you can get familiar with where to change these in the future. The hours of operation are found in the Location Info page of your system settings. Clicking on the pencil icon allows you to edit the hours. Just make sure you choose the correct week from this dropdown. You'll see the pencil icon throughout the system and it lets you edit the section it's next to. To get back to the Quick Start Guide, you can select it from the top of the settings list here or on the words in the upper right corner of your account. Next to point out is Employees. Clicking on this step brings you to the employee page of your settings. You can click on New Employee to create one, or if you'd like to make changes to an existing employee, maybe you need to update schedules or compensation, click Edit from the Actions column on the right side here. This Actions column can be seen throughout the system, so keep an eye out for it. Going back to the Quick Start Guide, next to point out is Services. This brings you to the Services page of your settings. Click the new service button to create one, or if you need to make changes, such as price updates, click Review from the Actions column. Last to point out will be Rooms. You can create any additional rooms from here if required for your business. Now to go through some other items on the Quick Start Guide. 
You can set up automatic emails and text messages to send to your customers as well as you and your employees. This feature requires an email to be entered here for clients to respond to you. And you can also enable SMS reminders, which work like text messages in your account. You'll also need valid emails and for text messages, mobile numbers along with cell phone service providers. You have the ability to customize emails so your brand is all yours. Go ahead and click Edit in the Actions column. Here you can change the email text as well as add pertinent information about that appointment specifically. Choose what items to include in the footer, but for your setup, we want to make sure the box for online booking link is unchecked. Your onboarding team will review how to add your site address to these emails. You can also add your logo, which we'll upload next. You have all your notifications set up, and now it's time to make it your own. Click the drop-down menu on your marketing tab and select Customize Colors. Here you can brand your online booking and buying presence known as your site or customer-facing booking engine. It looks like this when you start. You can select a theme color here and upload a logo and background image here. Each of these three correspond to different areas where your logo is shown. We recommend uploading one in each. The background image can fill the screen, be fixed in one position on the screen, or tiled over and over on the screen. Play with the design you want, just reload your personal site to see what it looks like. Once you're happy with how it looks, click Save here. To link your online booking site to your business website, you can find your own personal site address under Online Booking back at your Quick Start Guide. You can customize the other settings here as well, which allows you to choose how you want your online booking site to behave. These settings will be covered with the onboarding team, but we'll call out a few options here. You can choose how close to the actual appointment time customers can book, whether it's an hour or 24 hours in advance. And you can also allow customers to select a specific staff member or even just a gender. You are almost ready to start taking appointments through online booking, but before you do, let's not forget your cancellation policy. When booking online, your clients will need to accept the cancellation policy to complete the booking. You can enter in your cancellation policy within system settings. From the Quick Start Guide, you'll see where to set up integrated marketing to grow your business. We're going to focus on a few differences here as you have a brand new package with different functionalities. These steps allow you to set up your special discount offers, which is one of the quickest and easiest tools to help you brand your business. Next to cover is payment settings. From the Quick Start Guide, you'll see the item to set up your point of sale and your onboarding team will assist with adding products to Booker and setting up any other hardware you may be using, like the scanner or cash drawer. But you can configure your sales and service taxes on your own easily. When you first get to this page, you'll only find sales tax and service tax, but with no applicable rates. So be sure to edit the tax types from the Actions column and enter in any necessary percentages for your locale here. Moving on to the Payment Settings page, found in the list of settings on the left. This page allows you to choose which payment types you'll accept in your account. Notice how some settings allow you to edit as the admin while some don't. Any setting without the pencil icon next to it needs to be changed by a Booker employee for security purposes, so be sure to let your onboarding team know if you want to make a change. Here in Payment Settings, you can also enter in your refund policy. There are some settings you can ignore for now like override reasons. The tips gratuity setting will be covered with your onboarding team. Now let's prepare your Clover. If you do not have your Clover device, you can certainly set this up later. The steps are simple. If you have not ordered your device yet, you can contact the person who helped you start your merchant processing account. If you are not yet signed up for processing and are not in contact with someone to get your processing set up, please let your onboarding team know you need help getting in contact if you plan to have that integration. This allows you to take credit card payments through the Booker system itself while integrating with the Clover Mini, so you can accept all payment types and, more importantly, be entirely EMV compliant. This also enables you to sell instant green gift certificates that clients buy anytime online, can email or print it, bring it in on their mobile device and never print a single piece of paper if they want. Additionally, with your Clover account connected, you will be able to capture credit card information to reserve appointments. If you have your Clover device, you can connect it now. We recommend not taking any payment on it until your onboarding team gives the go-ahead to do so. 
To connect this, you will need your device plugged into an outlet, then log into your Clover dashboard and be logged into your Booker account. Click the button that says Connect with Clover. You will be taken to the Clover website where you'll log into your account. We can check that off the list now. Before we continue, let's double check the apps you should have. Go to clover.com and log into your account. You will see your dashboard like this. Use the pull down menu to show all apps. You want to have the Booker Web App as well as Cloud Pay Display Android. If you do not see both of these, you can easily download them by selecting App Market here. Simply type in the name of each app and click Download. You are all set with your Clover, so let's move on. Last to go over is the online booking site. From the Quick Start Guide, you'll find the item to customize your online site. Here you can select any of the services you want booked online and switch them on in one easy step. You can also get links to your online site to add to your business site. Instead of clicking here, I'll show you where you can always find your link, which is over here to the left like we saw before. Now to review your site. The home page simply lists the categories customers can book from, and the next page is where they will select the service. Next, customers will choose the day of the appointment, and once that is done, they will come to the appointment results page, and this is where they can also choose a staff member or gender from the drop-down at the top. Once they select the desired appointment, they will be prompted to sign in. Once signed in, the customer will confirm the appointment details, accept the cancellation policy, and complete the booking. You can easily point out your online bookings from internal ones on your calendar. All online appointments will have the at symbol within it. In this training, we covered the onboarding wizard, quick start guide, some payment settings, your Clover mini setup, and the online booking site. As a reminder, the Help Center is available 24-7, and you can access this from your account by clicking on Help and Training in the upper right corner and select Help Center. Click on Booker for Clover to see articles and videos, or search by keywords in this field at the top. You can filter for Clover-specific content by clicking on the Booker for Clover tile here. Now you can get started with Booker. Thanks for watching.